Hi, and welcome to Vesp Adventures. Anybody who's seen any of our other videos might be expecting a little bit of running around on Vespa scooters or repairing Vespa scooters, attending various events. Um, and if you're new to the channel, that's normally what we do. Um, but what I'm trying to do is to um, toy with the idea of early retirement and look at um, the reasons and my feelings as to why I'm thinking about uh, looking into the options of early retirement and maybe sort of develop another couple of videos to see how it goes and um, where it leads us. What's led me to think about early retirement a little bit more seriously is that we're attending a funeral this week of an aunt. Uh, she lived to 87, so uh, a fair old age and was reasonably well travelled. She was affected by a stroke a few months ago um, that took away um, most of her mobility and um, one of the things she said during the period of her being in hospital was there was so much more I still wanted to do. Now she'd been on various cruises and um, various places around the world, the US and Canada and um, seen the Northern Lights and Norway and Mediterranean cruises etc. So you know, she'd done a reasonable amount but the other side of that is that um, obviously she was still inflicted with the um, lack of mobility from the stroke and um, her feeling was, well, that stopped me from doing anything more. Sadly, her condition deteriorated and, and she died a month ago. But what's really sort of the thought process with me is the fact that she died with a reasonable amount of money in the bank and you know I'm not going to go into specifics but you know enough to have done a good few more cruises and travels and everything else I think she was also very unfortunate that at the age she was um, she lost a sort of two or three year window with the pandemic as well um, almost certainly she would have traveled more had it not been for that and by the time um, a lot of the travel restrictions, particularly for somebody a bit more elderly and a bit more health aware, I suppose, of falling ill or something um, while traveling, um, by the time the pandemic had, was over, realistically, I think she felt that um, her, she had arthritis as well and, and she was less able to have done what she would have potentially been able to do five years ago. And on the other side of that, um, I always bear in mind the um, situation my father-in-law found himself in at the age of 63. Very healthy man, very fit man, very strong man, and um, an active builder, um, still hard at work in his early 60s, um, was diagnosed literally overnight um, with having a um, serious heart defect, and he was very lucky it was diagnosed. It was diagnosed um, effectively by chance, but um, he found himself in a situation where he literally had to give up work almost overnight, finish the work he was doing, go into forced early, early retirement. Uh, luckily, he had some financial resources behind him. He um, had invested in some properties over the previous years that uh, reaped some dividends and um, he was able to um, have, have some money in the bank. But at the age of 63, he wasn't really able to do an awful lot with it. Um, he was very reluctant to travel, particularly in the early years of his illness, while they were uh, getting medication and everything straight. And um, very reluctant to want to travel abroad. He was told he probably shouldn't fly. And um, obviously the other options you have there is um, how difficult it is to get um, health insurance, travel insurance when you have a uh, pretty serious heart defect. So put those two things together. Do I want to be in a situation where I'm in my 80s and I think, God, I should have done that. I uh, wish I'd have done that, what I could have done. And um, Or in my early 60s where possibly the option of doing things that I want to do have been taken away from me. Also take into account that, um, you know, should I decide to continue working until I'm 67, I'm 60 this year, which is also, I suppose, a milestone age that leads you into believing that possibly, you, you know, your, 
your years are starting to become numbered. I know that sounds a little bit morbid, but um, as a guy I follow on uh, YouTube, and um, he came out with something um, that I found very poignant, is if you think the average lifespan we'd hope to expect is 80, well, from when I'm 60, that gives me a 1,000 weeks. Now, a 1,000 weeks is almost exactly the same amount of time that I've had since I was 40. And I feel no different now to when I'm 40. But I'm pretty sure, while in my mind, I hope I don't feel any different when I'm 80, physically, I'm going to be a lot less inclined to be um, doing a lot of active stuff, jumping on planes, getting in a camper van, traveling around, <laughs> riding scooters. Who knows? Who knows? And that's, I suppose, the issue is you don't know. So why not make and take the opportunities while you can? And that's the thought process that's going behind my trying to see whether I can put early retirement into place. Not got the amount of savings I should have done at my age. I spent a reasonable amount of time self-employed and basically struggled along. Uh, didn't really contribute what I should have done into a pension and um, spent a few years since then living hand to mouth. So uh, we still have commitments, um, mortgage, etc. to pay. So there's some serious thought and planning going to have to go into how we can make it happen. But I'm really, really keen to try and see just how it can be made to happen and for us it's going to have to be on a relatively limited budget that might mean semi-retirement it might mean that we take away the necessity to have to go to work week in week out it might be that we can put ourselves in a position where we can travel for longer periods do a little bit of slow travel which i would love to do um, you know, go to places for a, a couple of weeks and then move on to somewhere else for a couple of weeks and maybe immerse yourself more into um, the local way of life and enjoy the small things rather than just going and seeing, you know, the big sites and, uh, you know, and, and just learning a little bit more about how um, different people are in different countries and the, the way and pace of life in some of these different areas and regions as well. Near and far, you know, um, we've had fantastic trips um, in Europe and Scotland and um, across the Alps last year and, um, you know, numerous holidays that we've taken over the years. And but I want to do more than just a holiday. Um, I want to try and um, have a bit more of an experience, I suppose. Also, it's a little bit corny, I know, but that's really what uh, what we'd like to do. And then maybe to come back and um, and do a few months temporary work. I'm quite lucky. I've got an HGV license, um, so I should always be able to find work, whether it be through an agency or through a company that want to take on somebody for a bit of seasonal work um, and then put some money in the bank and and go off again and, and do something different. I mean, realistically, we do need to sort of have a serious look at our financial situation and to what our uh, commitments are and what commitments we can reduce and completely get rid of, um, including potentially downscaling, you know, selling the house, uh, buying somewhere mortgage free. So we've still got a UK base and um, working on from there. So, that's the thought process. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, I'd be really, really interested in hearing from anybody who's done the same um, or tried to do the same or is thinking of doing the same. And perhaps we can uh, share experiences. It uh, really is a step into the unknown for me. And uh, I personally not really want too many messages from pension planners and retirement planners. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, um, anybody here who's um, either contemplating early retirement, has made it successful early retirement or has tried early retirement and it's not worked. You know, perhaps um, I'm looking at more of a scenario where we're, we're even looking at a gap year or two and then having to return to work. Well, I don't think that would be a bad thing. I think at least you could turn around and say, yes, you know, we've been here, we've been there, we've experienced this, we've done that. 
um, and now we've got to you know go and do a couple more years in work in order to to pay pay for the next adventures I guess um, it's it's all up in the air it's all um, you know um, ifs and maybes I suppose but you know you have to start and think you know I could decide to work till I'm 67 we could still downscale scale and I'd certainly put a reasonable amount of money if I'm, you know, the level I'm earning now, um, I earn a reasonable wage. Uh, I could put a fair bit of money away if we could uh, be living mortgage free in the next sort of six or seven years. But what if, what if I work till I'm 67 and take some decent holidays in between? What if when I'm 65, 66, 67, there's another global pandemic? That shuts down sensible realistic travel for another three or four years and then I'll be 70 and would I still have that same desire that I have sat here today I don't know and I'm not sure I really want to take that risk I really really want to make sure that there's things I want to do we want to do that sounds a bit selfish I want but definitely things that um, we want to do we want to experience we want to take a bit of time doing maybe upgrade our camper van into a better motorhome and do some you know longer term traveling in europe and possibly just beyond europe um but you know all of those things require a level of um, a level of reasonable health i suppose and um and desire um would i still have that same desire in 10 years time anybody's guess but uh, only time will tell and time is ticking by and you know between 60 and 70 is a 500 weeks that doesn't sound very long to me 500 weeks now um that's pretty much the time since my 50th birthday and um that's gone like that so hopefully we'll have some more videos on the subject along with our regular stuff so don't worry if you're a regular viewer and you think where's his scooter so we'll be out and about on the scooters through the summer but hopefully we'll maybe you know have a couple more little videos like this as to where the planning's going and who knows where it's going to end but yeah so please subscribe please give us a like all the usual stuff and like i said anybody who's got any similar experiences or has similar feelings and thoughts share them and perhaps uh, you know as a, as a as a group or a community we can look at uh, what solutions other people come up with until next time see ya bye bye